Welcome to the You Are Here podcast. Welcome home. Yes. Welcome back. Episode 117 of the URI Podcast. Spot, find the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube Video, Anchor.fm, www.urpodcast.co. We cannot for you. Yeah. You already know, my name is Mike. Dave's right beside me. And we're oh. back. We're back for another another podcast. And we're going to start it off with Formosa Hot Sauces. You already know, if you've been listening, the best hot sauce, in, I'm going to say it, in the world. <laughs> yes. Sir. In the world. If you want a, this... You know what I like about this hot sauce? What? It's thick, yeah. it's flavorful, Ooh. and it's good. And that's all you need. <laughs> me. And I'm going to keep it simple. That's me, dude. Formososauces.com. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Dave, I'm going to pass this off to you. Hey. I'm going to pass the rock off to you. Pass it off, Because we have dude. another amazing guest. I'm catching it. Back to the podcast. And I'm, I'm jab-stepping. I'm pump-faking. I see the, no I see the bass, no but I'm not throwing it up yet. Right now, today, we're bringing back for you guys... Mm. Michelle Emanuela is on the show today. Actress extraordinaire, soon to be filmmaker. Yes. We're excited to talk to you more about that, Michelle. Yes, but yes, uh, yes. thanks for being on the show. Thank you, Michelle. Michelle. Welcome back. What did you do with Mike? You replaced him with this this uh, not glasses wear. Who is this? So it's yeah, is this? it's a pretty a pretty young man now. I, I just replaced him with a Mikey's, pretty oh Mikey's growing up. <laughs> oh. Mikey's on a new journey. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna yeah. say really quick. Yeah. I'm on the health workout journey. Yeah. And your boy's going to Cabo. All right. Are you motivated? Your boy's going to ride the jet skis in Cabo with a six pack. You're okay? motivated by that, right? Like kinda, that's the kinda, thing getting you kinda. going. Yeah. But also I was like, that was the beginning. Mm -hmm. But then I started getting into like actually just feeling better yeah. from just going and like, I guess switching up the routine, uh -huh. switching up the daily, like, you know, instead of me just sitting home, you know, down in a bag of chips <laughs> and just feeling terrible about myself. I would go to the gym yeah. and like kind of switching everything up. Yeah. My diet, like everything I just learned just plays in together of how you feel mentally, physically. You got to be there for yourself, f like physically, mentally. It's yeah. all part of the yeah. same person, right? Mm -hmm. So I feel 10 times better than I did before. Hey. And I'm, I'm on the journey. You're on the so, journey, boy. It's, it's a long yeah. journey, dude. God willing. Um, Michelle, how are you doing? Yeah, what's, what's going up? on? What's up? What's up? You were you were here for the two year deal we did. Oh yeah, and and now we're having you back for your own episode. I want to know what's going on in Michelle's world. There's a lot coming up. Yes, and I don't want to I don't want to like give it all away right now. I want I want the listener to just you know mm. chill and vibe with us for a little bit. So so what's going on in your world? What's up? You want us to like tease the listeners? Yeah, tease it in? yeah. Maybe there's a film coming. I don't know. Maybe maybe don't she's know. making a song. Maybe. I don't know what's going on. But how are you? Let's start there. How are you? I I'm doing better than before. Oh, better than I feel like new stuff, new job, which yeah. we touched on. There we go. New creative things, but happy to be back with you guys. I miss you both. I miss oh, your faces. We miss you too. We miss you too. We miss you too. Miss you too. We miss you too. I'm gonna just ask random questions now. This is a hot, it's a hot, hot round, <laughs> hot question round. Ready? Okay. What it, What is your biggest trigger for stress in your life, Michelle? Biggest trigger. Saying yes to everything and not leaving any time for myself. Love it. Oof. Love it. I can't say yes to everybody. And I said yes to do something later and it stressed me out. Oh, oh no. <laughs> is this that thing? Oh, no. No, no. no this is not that thing. <laughs> okay. All right. Okay. Just, later. Later. This is the thing I prioritized and wanted to do. Mm. What, what, well, what do you think is the most important thing for today for kids to learn in school? Go ahead. Oh, my goodness. It's a, it's, this is an interview. It's a hot round right now. It sounds silly, but to be yourself with other people around. Mm. Oh, okay. Okay. I wish I heard those words. I like That's why that. the arts are good. important. I like that. Okay. You're doing very well. Thank you. Okay. What what have you what have you been able to accomplish this year that you're really proud of? And don't and don't give away the thing we're gonna talk about. No, no, oh, I'm gonna say another thing. <laughs> I think I'm more on time, and I think that I'm tidier than I was last year. Oh, yo, she was in the the room to for before we even called, before we got here. Michelle was, was ready. Michelle was. I don't. We've had 117 episodes, a lot of guests. I don't know how many. Had Close a lot, to 100. We've had a lot of guests. Not one has ever been in the lobby without a complication. Of Mike saying, "Hey, yeah. can you can you you know hit this really? button?" Not yeah. one. Not one. Anyone who really knows me would 
not believe that at all. So, I'm, yeah, yes, yes. You were, you were the first one to do so. And I'm late to everything, it. dude. And mm. this past year, I don't think I am. Are you Are you really late to everything? For the past year, I'm not. Okay, okay. So that's that's so a good I'm change. Everything, everything. What's something you frequently forget? To eat. Oh, okay. Mm. That's a tough one. Do you get Even grumpy? Even though I'm always hungry, but like if I'm doing a million, like because I've tried to be more on top of things and more on time and more like routine based, sometimes mm. the whole day will go by and I'll be in a flow and I'm like, oh wow, I didn't eat anything. Meanwhile, mm. I love to cook, but I'll do like one humongous thing a day. Yeah. yeah. Or, or it'll be like a beautiful meal that I spent all day on. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. And then I'm like, well, it's like seven o'clock. You probably should have eaten something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and to drink more water. Okay. Okay. Oh, that's been so big for me. Yeah. The water. Everyone right now, drink. Go get a glass of water. You know what it is? Sit for down me? and get a glass of water. I realized there she is. You got it. You got the, is that a mason jar? Okay. That's exactly what I was going to talk about right now. <laughs> what? So for me, for me, drinking water, like I, I used to drink it out of the gallons, like, you know, just carry it around and stuff. I didn't like doing it. I so I stopped drinking water like that. I don't like drinking out of just a glass for some reason. It's not. It doesn't feel good. I don't like it. I had a mason jar. I started filling that thing up. I'm drinking like, yeah, fourteen yeah. cups of water a day now. Oh yeah. I usually do a bigger one actually, but like I usually it's like double the size. Yeah, yeah, of the big one. Or a big one. Yep. And that I find yeah, I drink it more. Maybe it's the weight of the glass that affects you. There's there's know. power in what you drink out of. Yeah, I think there's, there's I don't know something what it is. to say. You gotta find there's the thing. Power in yeah, a nice a... mug or a nice cup. Yes, dude. Yeah. You know? It's underrated. If yeah. you if you're drinking out of a thing you like looking at and yeah. feeling in your hand and, and sipping out yeah. of you get excited about it. There's a little bit of like, My oh, I want to do that. are a part of the coffee process. The mugs that I have are yes. like a part oh. of the experience of getting to have the coffee yep. for me. Yep. I can't wait to move I... so What's... I just get a bunch of mugs. Yeah. What's your favorite mug you have right now? That's a good question. Oh, the favorite one that I have right now is this big, huge Daria. Did you guys ever watch Daria? Yes. Oh, yes. It's Daria. a huge That's in the Daria 90s, mug. It says go away on it and it has Daria on it. And a good friend of mine got it for me oh. because I have the DVD set. Hold on. I have the DVD set. So hey, she bought me. That's Daria. Oh, what? And I, I love it because I could drink that cup for like hours and it stays hot. Oh, man. So it's huge. Yeah. Dude, we got to ask that to every guest. What's your favorite mug? Well, you know, Michelle, you know what? You passed the you passed the round the hot round That's question. Pop quiz. Like what's a, what's a, what can we call this thing now? This pop quiz. Pop, pop quiz. You pop, you pass the pop quiz. Okay. You could say you are here right now. The you are here right now segment. I like that. <laughs> See, right now. We're not good at naming shit. I know. That's our one fault. That's why we need a you know an intern. <laughs> you know what? Yeah. Let me tell you something. What's up? I don't know what's going on with this intern thing. I'm getting real upset real fast about it, Michelle. What do you mean? What okay, do you mean? okay. so there's, there's been in the we've works. Been, we've been in the talks. We've been in talks with you know a significant person in our life who has mentioned they want to intern for the show. We're hyped about it. We, we had meetings you know, on the phone. We uh -huh. got all excited. You know, <laughs> I'm thinking the things we can, we can implement with this, this intern now. And, and just, I just got the ghost this week. Damn. I yeah. got the hungry ghost this week. Gone. Just uh, uh, everything good? How we, How's the things coming along? And it's Cricket City. They either feel like they are not capable or good enough of being your intern, so they ran away. I hope it's not that. Yeah. Or they became busy with something else and no longer want to provide their services for free. You know what? You just got to tell. I'm not going to go crazy. I, just tell me. Yeah. I'd, I'd rather I'd rather hear it. Do yeah. One more reach out and be like, "Hey, we you were think? really maybe say, like we were really excited." Not that you're asking me. Fuck off. Never mind. <laughs> like, <laughs> <laughs> like, yeah. Maybe they got insecure, or like shy. Yeah, know. yeah. Mm. So, so I need to ask you some things now. These are some things I thought about. We cur I curated. I curate these questions now. You know what I mean? Some of them because I'm, this is really what I want to ask you. I really have these questions for you specifically today. Um, sure. I'm trying to be more prepared for this podcast, man. I'm trying to. I'm trying yeah. to. I'm trying to synchronize my thoughts, and you know, it is the You Are Here podcast. We're still open conversation, but there's things I significantly want to ask you. Um, now you're an artist. You're an actress. That's how I met you. We met in school. 
You want to hear about the history of how we met? Go back and watch the first episode of Michelle. Yeah, this is go, part two. Go check that one out. This is part two. We're getting right into the nitty gritty. Michelle. Yes. Do you believe do you believe in true love? Mm. Yes, but you can have more than one. Is this rapid? <laughs> no, 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 no. This isn't this isn't rapid. This, this is, is let's take our time. This is extended. Let's I wanna know <laughs> I wanna know what I don't wanna know what you mean by that. What do you mean by that? Well, what do you define as true love? Hey, how I about, think is how, specific. We should go through that together. You want to pass it around? True love. Okay, yeah. So, who, Dave, what do you think true love means? She, you know, Lena just asked me this today or yesterday. I forget. Really? What yep, same Dude, question. Dude, that's a crazy question to ask like, yeah, yeah. that far in. Yep. I th- I th- that's so cool. I think. I love that, man. The only, the only thing I could think of. What I said was, it's it's an under you understand who the person is, you both understand each other, who each other are really, and you and you want to spend time with that person, and you want to be vulnerable with that person. That's the only way I could describe it. Mm-hmm. And you make an effort to spend time with that person and to share with that person. Yeah, that's yeah. love to me. When you really know somebody, not like the you know couple months of like this, yes. this is who I am, and yeah. I'm like this. All of a sudden, I'm like shooting guns and like weightlifting. Yeah, <laughs> and like chewing tobacco and shit, just trying to be something that I'm not, so yeah. that I can like attract somebody. Yeah, you know. Yeah, I, I think it's like an uh, it's like an acceptance and understanding. You know, yeah, that both people yeah. have. Yes. Yeah, yeah, and like you're both like. I think it's yeah. Just I want to think of it as like the most simplest terms. I think mm. it's just like with simply like just living. Mm. You know, sharing mm. the same, mm-hmm. sharing like, you know, feelings and emotions. Yeah. Yeah. With no judgment. With no judgment. Oh, oh yeah. Wrong. That's that's a big one. No judgment. Yeah. But I'm going to counter. I, I'm going to counter. I love it. You're okay. tricky, Michelle. Let's go. Here we go. I'm tricky. <laughs> if you have all of those things within yourself, don't you think it's then easier to have with other people? If you understand Definitely. yourself and you spend time with yourself and you don't judge yourself and you're accepting of yourself, mm. I think that every person that you then link up with not every person but you know what i mean the ones that are ready to love you and that you're ready to love isn't it then true because what's the opposite is there falsity there like is it it's only false if there's like lying Mm, or mm, mm. or pretending i think a lot of people's love is somewhat performative and i've been thinking about that Mm. a lot like looking back on past relationships and past life partners that I've been with, where yeah, it's like, yeah. what about that was true? And what about that was performative? Yeah. Wow. So would you, would you say you were ever truly in love? Like true love? Like how you're describing it? Yes. Yes. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, but the, I think that, that just because it doesn't last doesn't... That's another thing I was thinking of this week. Just because it didn't last doesn't yeah. mean that it wasn't there. Hey, okay. You know? Yeah. Because just because it didn't continue doesn't mean that during that time it wasn't it, you yeah. know? Yeah. This, or even yeah. when people move on and that they find their person and yeah. they get married and yeah. stuff. I hate when people are like, we've been in love forever. And it's like, well, maybe you, you weren't, though. You did love somebody else before that. Uh, like, uh, sometimes. Uh, not everybody. Not yeah, everybody. Yeah, you yeah. know? But... I don't know. It, it was true at the time, no? Yeah, yeah. Do you do you, do? You, it makes me think of before uh, Sunset the movie. There's this yes. one line where they're on the boat together on the ferry, and uh, Julie Delphi says something like, "You know, there's." She's talking about her past relationships and the people she's been with, and she's like, "They can't be replaced." Yes. There's no replacing the human being. Like there's, oh, I I'll always have this sig- significant understanding and like fingerprint of that person all my life and like i can't replace him with just another yeah. person it'll yeah. always be significant yeah but then it's a new thing is the next thing it's not a replacing of love but like yes. a new branch of your love yeah you know what i mean yeah yeah, yeah for sure there's no way to like re- you can't delete a memory Mm-mm. right you know what i mean Mm-mm. and yeah. even you both like the eternal sunshine movie right and like i think right. that's oh, a yeah. big part of it too yeah yeah i watched that one late but like you can't get rid of those things and if they hurt it's because you cared about them like love and hate are extreme but indifference is worse isn't it mm. yes mm. indifference is worse 
you know? So yeah. I feel like if you ever really loved, then you do feel deeply Ooh. both about it, depending Man. on how it was. There's just nothing I'm worse. Not- There's nothing worse. It just hit a nerve. Isn't that worse than that feeling like, feeling like, like hey. yeah, yeah, I don't, I don't, that person doesn't feel, it feels zero for you, you know? No. You're like yeah. gushing over that person, you know? Yeah. Do, do you, do you, do you think that true love can exist if it is one sided? Uh, that, this is what I was thinking. That's, that's, this is a, oh, like, this is my so co host right here, dude. Do you? Do you? Do you, you asked it. So you know, do you? Oh, Mike, that's a great question. Yeah. Um, I don't, I think, I think so. I think, I think, I don't know, that's tough. I don't know how to go through that. I got to think about that. You know? Yeah. I'm glad what you do you brought think? it up, though. That's so good. That's such a good, that's such like a good thing that you want to like think about because, like, think about the, the term um, unconditional love. Yes. Uh huh. I can love deeply. Without it being reciprocal, it's, yes. it's not. Yes, it's not dependent on the recip- like on the receiving of the love back. Yes, and if it is, was it unconditional? Because mm. now you just put a condition on it. Yes, and yes. also you can love people that you don't know. Mm. You can love things that you've never done. Yeah, you know, but does that change? Then would you say that it's not real love? There was a lyric that just came in my head when you said it was um. There's a lyric by this singer I like, Lucy Daukus, and it was, um, she said, nobody can love a city because a city can never love you back. Ooh. But like, you know, Ooh. but can you? Uh, I don't know. Uh, <laughs> that's interesting, unconditional love, to think about it like it's not a reciprocal thing at all. It's, yeah, it's like, because like when we describe like what is true love, right? It's like, it's not the fucking, you know, like every morning I fucking, you know, yeah. make the coffee or yeah. something like yeah. that. It's never yeah. like something like that. It's It's more about the 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 indirect interaction yeah. you know what i mean the yeah. stuff that's just like it happens mm-hmm. you know so i think yeah like one-sided and i think it could be it could be love a true love yeah i think so man feelings are so strange i think love's a scale right oh okay yeah you know yeah you can like if you say the yeah, word like love, a it little mean, you could be a yeah, little love it could be i a think lot so of, yeah yeah that's very mm-hmm. deep that's very very like emotionally like aware yeah yeah and, and and the reason I bring up love, watch how I do this. Watch how I do this. <laughs> watch how I rope this in. So I, you know, we're friends. And uh, a few months ago, you know, we we're talking, me and you, me and Michelle. Mm-hmm. She says, hey, write in this thing. Check it out. I said, for sure. And now to me, this is a love story. Yeah. This is a love story. So Michelle, our homie Michelle right here wrote a love story. What's what's up with that? What's mm. going on? <laughs> what do you mean? What's up? I, I don't know. You tell me. What's up? Yeah, where, where Dave, are we at? Dave was telling me. I'm excited. Yeah. Well, would you say, so you would say it's a love story. If you were going to say like the shortest thing of what you've read, it's mm. a love story. So the draft that I read, I would say yeah. it is a story of two individuals who are in the throes of being so alone. Yes. And then through circumstance connecting and in a way that I think a byproduct may be love. Oh my God, you're going to make me cry. Can you explain all my projects ever? I don't want to explain them again. That, that's how I would describe it. That's how I would describe yeah. it. Yeah. Um, I guess by accident, I wrote a love story. Hey. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Yeah. You know what's funny is earlier, earlier, earlier drafts, uh-huh. they it's not a love story at all. Mm -hmm. And I think that I kept trying to steer it another way, but naturally it made more sense Uh to just let it be, not to give anything away. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But like, I kept thinking, oh, somebody would fuck over somebody in this situation. Uh Uh Or like, they would shy away or get to hating each other. You, You ever have that fear in yourself that, the longer somebody spends time with you, they're eventually going to stop liking you. <laughs> I don't know. Am I alone yeah. Yes. Am I alone that? <laughs> yes. No, I feel no, like it's everyone. Yeah. <laughs> like even friends where you think like, oh, eventually they're going to get to know me and find out they don't like me. Or like if you spend a whole day with someone, I sometimes am like, oh, we spend the whole day together. They're going to get annoyed eventually. Dude, I, that's <laughs> yeah. how I feel sometimes. I, I think like if, if you figure me out, 
if you ask enough questions and like we go through the the gambit, like I'm I'm I think I'm a good person to like get to know. But the, the my fear is like once you get to know me fully, it's like ah, I don't need time. I don't have the time. Like you know, I'll go figure someone else out now. And then you just like yeah. I'm gonna pass. You know what I mean? Like it was like, it was fun in the beginning, but like damn, I think yeah. I know enough. Yeah, Dave can leave you one day. That's that's not what I'm saying. I'm not gonna leave you. I'm kidding. It's been years. I would have left you already. Oh shit! You know. See, but why do you feel like you would get left, Mikey? Like, because we all have that. I was half joking. I was half joking. I know Dave's like. Dave's one of the I think kindest, humblest, and um, wow, just human people that I've met in my life. Hey. That's very nice of you. Thank you. But I bet knowing each other, you also become kind and human. Yeah. I definitely become a better person. Together, I bet. The same. We bring we bring out some beautiful things in each other. I feel like most of the people we have on here, we all like. Obviously, we're all like always like very uplifting to each other, Mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. But there's a lot of just, I don't know. It's all like positive energy. I feel Mm -hmm. like that is just meant to build up. Yeah. All of us, you know. So. Once I met you, dude, like a lot of positive things happened in my life. Yeah. So I thank you. Hey, thanks, man. Damn. <laughs> we wouldn't be here right now. We wouldn't have Michelle in this room. We wouldn't have Michelle in this room. That's true, man. Mm-hmm. Damn. Man, you know what? I want to throw you this to a, Can I throw it to a, a little skin. question? Yeah. Um. So I do a, I'm going to slowly be starting a new podcast. Oh. We did the first oh. pilot episode oh. yesterday, but it's with a couple of my close friends um, from like all around the world. Yeah. Um, but my one friend that I do, if I was talking to him after uh-huh. and, um, we were talking just about life stuff. We haven't really caught up in a while. Yeah. And, um, he, he lives in Boston and he's lived there his whole life. Yeah, man. Yep. And, uh, he's talking about how, like kind of places that you've been for a very long time mm-hmm. change, you know, mm-hmm. and over time, um, you kind of like when you're like, uh, let's say you're in a, like, you know, the way you experience it and growing up, you think it's like this place yeah. and you think you have a good idea of it. Yeah. But then as it changes, you're like, oh, it's like, what happened? Yeah. You know what I mean? It's like leaving me yeah. and it's kind of like lost yeah. and it's going away, right? Yes, yeah. And then you like are left with this feeling of like, I have no clue where I belong. So I wanted, mm. to, I wanted to ask you guys, where do you feel like you belong? Oh. Damn. Damn. That's a great question. Yeah. Like what's your like when you wake up like what's the go ahead Michelle if you think about it, like what's the what 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 is everything that you know is like this is my part of my life this is my corner of the of the, of the universe I was gonna say like a hippie hippie thing mm. follow well, like you know go with me on this even though it's not it's it's not me trying to dodge the answer but okay. like. If you are comfortable with yourself, then you'd feel whole kind of wherever you went. I hate mm. that that sounds like it's a dodging answer, but like, the, but I will say the only two places I've ever felt like, oh, I feel so connected to this place has been New York uh-huh. and when I went to London. There was something about uh-huh. when I went to London, I was like, I could live here and I feel like I could be like a deeper me here, if that makes sense. Yeah. I don't know some sort of weird connection that I felt when I was there that I was like, wow, I could really see myself being here. Mm-hmm. Um, but a hundred percent, like what your friend said, like the New York that I grew up in, isn't the New York now, you know, yeah. the Queens that I grew up in is even like where I'm working now in Bushwick. I was mm-hmm. just talking about this with my friend, me and my friend, Jackie, shout out. Shout out we shout were out, shout out. walking to, a, to see another friend play a jazz show last night. Uh-huh. And we were over at Knickerbocker Avenue uh-huh. and we both turned to each other. She's from New York. And we go, when the hell would you have been on Knickerbocker <laughs> Avenue before today? Cause that was not a cool place to go, wow. you know? Yeah. And just like the morphing of what a city and what like that air, like, you know, what you associate with an area, with a home, with a neighborhood can just change so much. Mm. Yeah. So that's my long roundabout answer. Yeah, Everywhere yeah. you feel at home but also like you maybe anywhere home. where you feel like you could be yourself i don't know yeah yeah also like some stuff we were getting into was like also like the, the physical but also the like figurative like the like you know like your family or friends mm-hmm. you know there's people around you were like 
what it could be like your job, your passions that you have that maybe you can only do here yeah, or yeah. like stuff like that, you mm-hmm. know, like mentally, mm-hmm. you know, yeah. like this is where, you know, my, been my whole life. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. And if I felt that like it was changing or it was disappearing. Yeah. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't know what to think. Yeah. You're kind of going through that now. Yeah. Kind right? of like in a way. Yeah. In a way, yeah. 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 It's scary, man. Yeah. I'm in a know. weird limbo right now. Yeah. It's like a, it's a weird thing when you feel like you're, you're, I went through it too recently. You feel like you're thrown into the world and you don't have like a sense of home yet. Mm. And, yeah. and like, it's like a, it's just a, it's just a, a moment of change where you're like flailing through the air, trying to like, you yep. know, feel the ground and like yep. grab yep. something and be like, Oh, I could set up camp here. You know, mm. this, I could, I could create a home here. And, uh, yeah, it's weird. It's scary. It's like, for me, it's uncomfortable. Yeah. There's sure. moments of change where you're like, for you sure. got to figure it out. You got to figure out how to uh, establish like a safe, not safe, but like a, a warm place for you to take shelter and like yeah, go back to at the end of the day. And yeah, a job is part of that. And yep. yeah, man. And the people you get to see is part of that yeah. too. Yeah. It's just different. It's going to be different. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That's life. Yeah. And nothing is nothing is like constant. That mm. this year like taught me that or last year taught me that more than anything. Yeah, there's no big there's a there's like a guise of constant, you know, life, but it's not real. It's uh it's things we like you know, we pay enough bills to stay in one place mm. long enough and and uh you know, it's just it's just tough, man. Just things are life is is in a constant state of change, but we we pad it with like walls of security. You mm. know what I mean? Yep. But eventually, it's going to change no matter what. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, we're we, all can, we really can't put up any walls. You know what I mean? It's yeah, almost I mean, like we illusion. can. That's that's you want to build a home, right? Like that. We're kind of yeah. We're built that way. We're built. To, I, I not everybody. A lot of people like to travel and just constantly yeah. move and not, don't settle down. But I'm much more of like a, you know, I'll travel for a month or a couple mm-hmm. weeks and like I want to go home. I want to go home. I want to establish like yes. I know where the Christmas tree is at. Yeah, I know where my shit's in the basement. I know. You know, my it's like when you looking. walk in the door, like the front door with the lights off, you know where to put. The, yeah, yeah, you know exactly, I mean? man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well said. Yeah, it's it's weird, man. Yeah. Do you think so? It could be that you, your your home, right? From like when you were a kid or when you were younger, whatever that is, mm-hmm. you outgrow it though because you have age where you see it differently now. You don't see it as a child. Yes. So maybe we then don't get a home until we like build our own home again, whether that mean I, like yeah. starting a family yeah. or, you know, being with somebody or like choosing it to be your home, I guess. Yeah. Like yeah. I've been thinking a lot about this, but holidays, uh-huh. like Christmas is going to be different if I have kids and have my own Christmas, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? And then that'll be what Christmas is yeah. because we can't have Christmas back. I mean, I don't know what you guys celebrate, but we can't have like holiday back at, as we were when we were a kid. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you're just going to be chasing that memory until you make a new one. So that reminds me of home where it's like when you wake up in a, in a place that feels like home, yeah. literal or figurative, it's different when we were kids than we are with the mm. like the, the consciousness of being an adult. I don't know. Yeah, Maybe yeah. you'll remake your home yeah. somewhere else. I think yeah. for sure. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, that's a good point. It's like it's like you get two, you get it twice. It's like you get the childhood yeah. version and then you get the adult version that you build. Mm. Yeah, that's very true. It's very true. I think. Well said, Michelle. Michelle, I wanted yeah. to ask Michelle the so for the the new project. Is this something that you've been um, kind of like you thought of it like for a long time, or did you get it like recently? What is the origin of this? Yeah. How how are we, how are we writing this? What happened? That's a great question. Um, so most of it was written in quarantine, but it was an idea that happened way before that, probably like a good year or two before mm. that. I think it might have been when I was still in class. Remember, Dave, when we had to do like particularizations and stuff? Oh, yeah. I think that it, I was thinking about it the other day, like what was the first like memory of the project? And I think I was working on something for class and it was a particularization that I wanted to do which is like something in your head that you want to work out with another actor that'll help you get closer to what you're trying to achieve in the project that you're working on. Does that make sense? Is that a good description of it? Yeah, you think yeah I would say so. Yeah. You're just trying to get closer to a part. So you're, you're taking a, you know, part of something you're creating, like in your imagination, mm-hmm. like a real life thing and you're bringing it with another uh, 
actor into like a improvisational setting. So you're mm-hmm. trying to get closer to a doing that you you understand better by the end of it. Mm-hmm. But it's a, it, it uh, parallels the book. Yeah. And I think there was something I thought to particular, particularize, and then I never did it. I never actually acted out the things that I was going to oh, do, wow. right? But then yeah. I was thinking about it, and I was like, oh, I never did that thing. I never did that thing. Yeah. And then I just kind of wrote it into what these two characters would be like if they did that thing. Do you, do you remember the and moment? I, do you remember that moment? I was like, what was it? I don't want to give it oh, away. Okay, okay. Don't, don't, don't give it away. Don't give it away. Don't give it away. <laughs> do you remember I'm who you were working with? I'm sorry? Do you, do you remember who you were working with? So I wasn't working with anyone in particular. I think it might have been like a scene. Uh, I don't even remember what the scene was, but I was just trying to like, I think it was when we were just working on particularizations, not towards our scenes. Oh. Where we were like, I think it was like to get in, I don't remember. It was like to get in touch with maybe characterization rather okay. than, I don't know. Yeah. I don't remember, but I was like, oh, this is something that Michelle should do to get closer to this thing that she's working on in herself. Yes. And then I never did it because I never wanted to ask anybody to do it. Oh, man. And, and like there was just this one song that I was like including in it. Yeah. And then I'm like, well, if I wrote it into something, what would that be like? And then I just was like, I saw two characters and worked backwards. So yeah. there was like a moment that's in this film. Yeah. And then I wrote backwards. How did how did these two people get here to do that thing in right, the scene? Right. Mm. So even like to go back to the thing you said about a love story, maybe I just like unintentionally wanted to tap into that. Could be. In a, you know, and then like wrote it backwards. But it had a very different ending. Mm. It had a very different storyline. And then like during this past year it's just been like okay this is where it goes and now and now we've ended it so i've had the idea for like two years and then wrote it also the song that's going to be in the film i've had that song for like two years but i didn't play any instruments guys so i didn't have any way of i'm like oh i have a song i don't know how to do it like (laughs) if anyone asked me to to play the song i don't have anything to (laughs) play So then for my birthday last year I, i bought myself a guitar and only to write that song because mm. it was in my head. And I'm like, I got to yeah. get it out somehow. I don't yeah. know how to play it. And I'm not very good, but but it like helps to get it out there. So yeah. wow. that's the answer. It was long. That's Look the answer. This, what I'm we like, do. How, do how, how incredible is that? You want to tell a story and you buy a guitar because you have a song that you yeah. needed for the story. And you wrote that song two years ago and you got to tell this story. So that's my thing. Why, why this story, Michelle? What do you think? If we had to like boil it down, why, why, why this? Why now? Why, why is this something you want to express? I think I want to do it now more than I ever did then is because the, the story revealed to me what I think I need. And mm. I think other people need that too. If that mm. makes sense. I guess I'm fired like up. That. Like, like people are lonely right now. People are isolated right now. People like one big theme in the film, I think is what do you do when your life did not go at all how you wanted it uh-huh, to go? Uh-huh, uh-huh. And those are my favorite stories to read, you yeah, know, yeah, like yeah. These broken me too. People. Me too. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Like, Oh, I wanted to be a boxer and I didn't get to do that. Or like, I wanted to be this star, this writer. And I didn't get to do that. Or like, I always wanted a family and then they struggled to not have a family, Damn. you know? So like, what do you do? What do we as humans do when we don't get where we wanted to be? Yeah, yeah. And like, what do we do? What do we do, man? Like, what do you do when you're like, you know, what if 10 years from now you like look at yourself and you're not where you want to be at all? But like, what do you do? You, you don't just like, real people don't just like cease to exist. Yeah, they continue. Yeah. They continue. Yeah, so then you got to kind of just like take a new path. You got to just take a new path. So I think that's why I want to do it now is because I bet a lot of other people, if I did an okay job, yeah, I would get that as well. As much as what I got from writing it, I hope people will get from receiving it. So the reason it needs to come out now is because I feel very deeply that people need it now. Wow. It's not about me anymore. <laughs> like, yeah. Give it to somebody else. Like, I love that. That's exciting. That's really exciting. I, I love to hear that too. That's like... Such a beautiful reason to tell a story, you know. It's such a, I don't know. It's such a selfless, you know, reason to to express yourself. It's a, ultimately we're trying to leave something for others, you know. We're trying to leave yeah. some kind of part of ourselves for another person to pick up and say, 
you know, this, this affected me, this moved me, this made me think maybe I'm not living the right way or maybe, maybe, I don't know, maybe I'm being disconnected and this is reminding me of that or, you know, it's, it's, it's just cool that that's your intention. And mm. I'm excited for you. I'm yeah. excited for you. And is there an Indiegogo coming out or, or is there shoot dates? Like where are we in the process? So right now where we are in the process is we have some of our budget. Okay. We're scouting locations. We have some original music. Okay. I'm getting a team together. Script is locks. Oh, okay. man. Now, so now we need to get some camera car rigs because a lot of it is it's a road film. Road this is like a 20 21 road film. Okay. So even you mentioned Easy Rider earlier. I was mm. like, yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, Classic. You know. Like trying to get like the vibe of like an older road film, but yeah. for now, like Got set it. now, Got you know. Yeah. So we need the money. We need we need help to mm. ensure the safety of the crew and so, you know the cast to be able to like yeah you can run and gun a project like this, but we also don't want to sacrifice like safety and like making it look good and everything like that. So right, right. looking at locations, hoping to shoot in July. Okay. Okay. Dang, July. That's soon, July. Man. Woo. Come on. Woo. Yeah. You excited? I wanted to shoot this last year, guys. Yeah. I wanted to shoot this last year, but I was not. You know what, though? It's so funny. I was not ready, though. Yeah. Like, you always think, like, oh, well, the pandemic got in the way of this. No, I think it just showed what wasn't ready in a lot uh, of people, in uh, a lot of people's projects, yeah. lives. Yeah, like, absolutely. Yeah, I was ready. Absolutely. I was ready. Yeah, yeah. I was, yeah. I was like, I'm putting out a poetry book. That's happening. That's happening this year, 2020. I'm yeah. doing it or I'll die. Remember I was yeah, like, man. and I, I, I go back and look at my, you know, my, my manuscript and it's like, this shit is not ready. Thank goodness. I'm sure it's good. Thank but it goodness. Be better yeah. Time, yeah. Know? There's so much more to say mm. to edit. And yeah, there's a lot of things you, it, this is a cool thing too, is like, eventually you pull the trigger, right? If you, if you do create a, some piece of something, if a film, yeah. poems, a book, a novel, music. Hmm. At some point, you either pull the trigger or you don't. And there's always the question. I think it's always right. going to be looming. Like, did I do enough? When is enough? Is it is it ready? You know. And I don't oh, know yeah. how to judge that really. Sometimes, other than like, it feels ready. You know, I've tested the waters. I've passed yeah. it around. I've gotten opinions. I've worked on it, yeah. and I feel this is the best I got, and I'm going for it. And I also feel like a surge of passion and do it now. So, you know. Maybe I'm crazy, but you know, it's just it's it's a hard thing to to maneuver. Like when is when is the right time? But for you, July oh, yeah. is the right time to mm. shoot this film. To me, to me, I'm putting it out in the universe. Yes. I want to do it in July. If it's, it happens in August, fine. But like, I'd dude, like it to be July. It's an it's an act of faith yeah. right there. That's yep. a huge act of faith that you're saying. I'm throwing it out. I'm throwing yep. it up, and I'm just going for it. I'm, I'm jumping into the pool, and I'm gonna swim or I'm gonna drown. It- I mean, like, listen, it's very vulnerable. You you both know this. You both worked on things that you've written or mm. want to make that are your ideas, that are your babies, I guess, in a certain way. Yeah. I'm vulnerable in this thing, dude, because I wrote this thing. Yeah. And I want to be in this thing. And oh, you want yeah. to hand out to people being like, can you give me some money? I <laughs> promise it won't suck. Like, please give me this. And I'm very bad at asking for help. Yeah, I'm very stubborn. Yeah. I don't like, Same. I would love to be able to do this on my own yeah. and not ask anybody for yeah, anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But also like, I, I really admire when other people are doing projects. I love to give money to those things yeah, yeah. and my time. So then I had to kind of flip it and be like, all right, nobody hates you. Mm-hmm. Like, just do it because you would be proud. Like if, if you put out something, I'd be so pr- I'm proud of either of you. I'd be like, hell yeah. Wow. I'll follow this. Yeah. I'll, I'll mm, money yeah, to this. Yeah. You know? So why do we admire it when other people do it, but then we don't really admire That's it? A good we try to That's a good question. That's a good question. That's a great question. Why do you why do you think that is? It's just, it's it's hard to ask for help. It's hard to ask for uh to say like I'm putting my name on this thing and like it's easy to be like I support this person. I you know, I, I believe in this person and what they do. If you if you care for them, you know, or if you believe in them. But it's 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 yeah. much hard for me, it's much harder to be like Oh, I believe in myself 100%. Yeah, man. And this is going to be a great story. And I'm going to, I promise you, I'm, I'm not going to let you down. Like, oh, yeah. it, it takes a while to get there, I think, to be yeah. that confident and to be uh, that at peace, you know, with like, I can do this. Like, trust me, I can do it. I, I, I really believe that. And I've worked hard at it. Um, yeah, but I mean, you're there. You're there. And it's, there's the, the beautiful thing is like, 
you know what it feels like to help another person. That's exactly what it's going to feel yeah. like for other people to help you that support you. Right. You know what I mean? For them. So that's a good way of like changing the right. lens on it. You know what I mean? Yep. Right. That's the only way I've been able to look at it to, yeah. to validate me doing something like this. Cause I'm very afraid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, it's so I awesome mean, to admit that. Yeah. I'm very scared, you yeah, know, but it yeah. mean to not do it. And like everyone else who did it was probably also afraid. Yeah, so like, yeah, you know. yeah. And, and you've done some scary shit already. You've done like Danny in the deep blue sea and like, and some like, like theater in, in the city and, and, and in front of like friends and family and shit. Like you've done some crazy you know shit. What's funny, Dave? Both of those times, I was like, no one's going to show up. <laughs> yeah. Both those times, yeah. Like, no one's going to show up. Yeah, no one's going to care. Up. Nobody wants to see this thing. And both times, pleasantly surprised. People yeah. want to enjoy things. Yeah. People want to help. And I think that even now, like, post, you know, not post-COVID, because we're still in it. It's yeah. still a thing. We still need to take it seriously. But as, like, you know, the East Coast, especially, like, you know, emerging, vaccinated, mm -hmm. We are able to do these things safer. So people want to support live music and theater yeah. and, you know, writing and, and independent work, you Absolutely, know, yeah. and, and also with all this drama, not to digress, but all this drama happening in like different pockets of the movie industry and different pockets of the Broadway industry. It's like maybe the people with the purse strings aren't the ones making the most vital content right now. Mm -hmm. So there's no reason to not make your own shit. I got a hunch. I got a hunch that we're we're in a time of like, you know, back in the seventies when shit was changing and we we're getting away from the studio stuff. I don't see much oh, yeah. good studio shit coming out right now. And mm -hmm. I got a hunch that a yeah, lot man. of people in this country are really fucking hungry for good yeah. story. For good story. Honest story. Yeah. You know, no gimmicky shit and no no uh just no 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 ulterior motive other than like telling yeah. great story, you know, leaving something for someone to have them be changed by the end of it. You know, that there, there's, that takes artists to do that. And that's something you're stepping up to the plate to do. And I just admire it very, very much. So, um, yeah. So, so keep an eye out for that. Right. We're going to have an Indiegogo go, go going soon. I'm, I'm sure. Right. Oh yeah. So, Not, well, okay. So technically in the future, yes. so that your podcast comes out in the future. Yes, it does. So it'll be my tomorrow, but it'll be your yesterday. <laughs> okay. Okay. Go. So it's out already. If you're listening. There we It'll go. be out already, and if you will be so kind, you will link them in the thing. A done yes. deal. Done deal. Yeah, so that's Can coming you. out. That's coming out. Hell yeah. I got it's a... exciting, man. It is exciting. This is your first, your first project film on your own. Yes. The only other thing I ever did on my own was the YouTube like, miniseries thing. Got you. Mm, got you. This is my first. I've never been in a film, guys. Come on. Are you kidding me? <laughs> look at this dude that's okay fun, okay this is exciting yeah i'm fucking excited dude. nobody would put me in anything so i had to make my own thing <laughs> that's how it goes girl that's me in 2020 can't, can't buy a roll out here um no right. but but uh, but that's amazing that's what i did that's why i wrote the rose garden like partially was like right. no one's hiring me to do shit or the shit i i did get hired for like you know right wasn't 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 what I really was like excited to be doing. So you, you know, wrote a love story, my guy. Sure yeah, you did. did. Sure did. Hey, I, I had something to say about it. You know, mm -hmm. like just like you're saying, I, I didn't realize it, but it was definitely like something driving me was the what if thing or the the the, you know, if we miss and we come back, what's it like thing and 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 uh, yeah, that's what that was, Bert. So so look at that. Love's a powerful powerful thing. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah. You can't see it, can't smell it, can't touch it, can't taste it, but you sure can write about it. Yeah. I feel like that's something that a lot of people have been missing is the love, especially after COVID and stuff. Yeah. Oh, you know yeah. I mean? oh, yeah. Your boy's been <laughs> missing the love. Oh. Yeah. And I'm itching for a story. It's dry, dude. You say this every time, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, we have a thing going with it's the... It's dry, with the, <laughs> It's dry. Um, Me and Mikey are single. We're all trying to dude. find love. Right? <laughs> We're We're trying to find disrespect. Love. I didn't... It's a joke. <laughs> it's a joke. I'm joking. <laughs> but all I'm saying is, yeah... Uh, the love story, dude. That's like, that's what I'm looking for. Why right don't you write a Bumble love story? Oh, dude. I wrote an online dating here. love story. You should write a Bumble love story. I really don't want to do that, though. <laughs> <laughs> what do you have I'm against sorry. Bumble, dude? I just, I don't Bumble know. Bumble sucks. <laughs> I don't know if true love comes from Bumble. You don't think true love comes from Bumble? I don't think true love comes Maybe. Sometimes. I don't know. Yeah. 
I know a success story. I know once it happens, then I can say yes. But okay. right now, like you said, it's dry. <laughs> <laughs> well, love love comes in many ways, dude. I think, and and, and uh, you got to be open to that thing, dude. Yeah, right. Because it could come in a way you're 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 putting up a barrier and you're saying I don't want love from this angle, and you're like fucking right. Yeah, yeah. No, no, no trust, trust me. <laughs> I'm on there. I, I can't trust you because I don't know what I'm you're on doing. Because we don't talk about but it. But if you're swiping thinking you ain't going to find anybody, then that energy ain't going to get you. No, I always wake up. I do it when I wake up because I'm like, I'm a fresh boy. All right? I'm fresh. <laughs> My mindset's like, you know what? Let's go. Yeah. You're, you're open to whatever's yeah, coming. Yeah. Do you believe in... in, 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 in you do hinge. You do hinge, Mike? Oh, Sorry. Oh, no, no. It's okay. Um, Kind of less. It's there, but I don't, I don't really go on I don't think people are on Bumble anymore. I think people are on Hinge now, my hinge, guy. Hinge really? Yeah, man. You're on the old platform. Yeah, I'm getting old now. Yeah. I feel like Dave. Girls don't answer on Bumble because they're act they're not activated on the sites. Whatever. Try hinge, man. Did you hear Dude, that? I'm scared. What? No way. Girls aren't on Bumble. Oh, All those profiles are God, old. God, how am I supposed to know this? <laughs> I don't know this either. Well, listen, the only reason I knew it was because I had to research it for the project that I did. I wrote oh. a thing about online dating. So I was like, what are the stats of like people on it or whatever? And I think Hinge is the newer site that people are on. Bumble is old and they keep your profile on it even if you delete the app. Whoa. So Ma- Ma- people are probably in relationships Bumble. not seeing your thingy. Ma- Michelle, we can watch that on YouTube, right? Right now? If, if, if anyone's That's listening that. right now. Okay. What- oh, Doom Scout. Doom swiping. Doom swiping. Go check that Link out on in YouTube right now. Link in the description. Um, I'm getting on Hinge. You got to be on Hinge. Get on Hinge, Mike. I had a great date. I'm on it, but I just don't use it. She had a great date. Great date? Well, my God. Come on. It happened, but it was nice. Did, did you get... <laughs> can we go into this a little bit? Yeah. Come on. Just just briefly. No cra- nothing crazy. I'm not What's going... What's his name and what do you look like? No, no, no. No no names. No <laughs> names. And we don't even know what it looks. But was, was it like a... Uh, it's a first encounter in person in the real world in COVID too, which is, which is really interesting, you know, still, um, were you, did you, did you get to go out to a place and like, yeah. were you wine and dine kind of thing? Was it like a, a charming situation? Was it, it's courting in COVID, you know what I'm saying? It's like a weird thing. So it was a little, there was like, I think now people need to like talk beforehand yeah, and see. like, it's not so much more like, match on the thing mm-hmm. and then like what are you doing tonight like yeah. you kind of need to be consider a good way i think is to be considerate i hate online dating i think it's ridiculous yeah, i'm not good at it yeah, yeah. but but if done right i think you have to be like really communicative yeah about not only what you want but also covid yes. like hey yeah. this is where i'm at mm-hmm. how are you you know so i'm already vaccinated and i've luckily been vaccinated now for a while because i worked in the restaurant industry uh-huh. so for me i'm like Okay, I feel fine. Yeah, yeah. Where are you? So you got to discuss that. Mm-hmm. And then we got a drink and then it was going well. And it was like, do you want to go to another place? Yeah. And then it was like, okay, we're going to another place. And then, yeah. And then we had lunch the next day. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I wanted to hang out again. I was like, okay, you want to get lunch? Hey, but, uh, bars are tough though, man. I don't, I don't, I don't like bars, Michelle. But really? it wasn't. So here's the thing, though. We it's not bar atmosphere now, Dave. It's different. Okay, yeah, okay, okay. That's actually nice. You got a little space. Bar. Yeah, yeah. I bet it is nice. You're not into a bar and now you're like in a yard. Yes. Okay. You're away from everybody else, so it's, you're only talking to each other. Like we didn't meet in a bar. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. So it was like, hey, I'm gonna meet. It was like if I met you to have a drink, either of you. Right. You knew I was there, so then I met you there. Right. You get what I'm saying? Right. Yeah. Right. Two- it's not the same as like talking in a noisy bar to like you know yeah yeah that. it's different i got two things i got two things that's making me think of now first thing you're 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 on these this site this hinge site and uh <laughs> sorry dude what well, i can't wait what you said you're on this hinge site i'm old i'm an old guy now i'm old <laughs> that's okay uh you know what but it's beautiful aging I is love a beautiful you, thing thanks man um mm-hmm. um and i feel great yeah, if you're one, you look great. Thanks, dude. Um, so, so Michelle, you're you're you you are a female human being, and you are going on. Yeah, yes, yes. Is that safe to say? Uh, and I and I know the answer is yes already, so you don't have to answer. Yeah. Um, you are going on these this date. Let's say, like, let's take last night. Are you calling a friend and being like? I'm just going to let you know when I'm safely at this place and the person that shows up isn't some 
you know, crazy person who put up a fake profile thing, or like you just going in blind and like, I have faith that this is gonna, it's gonna go well. And uh, because you're meeting someone you don't know and you're seeing a profile and you're talking through text, I imagine. Okay, well, let me interrupt. Okay, I didn't just meet on the profile, I met on the profile. I don't date ever, I don't go on the dates, I never even talk to the people. Okay, Okay. whatever. We talked, and then I said, let's switch it to the DMs because then you know if they're a real person or not because you check their profile. They have a profile. Okay, okay, okay. You get off the app immediately in my world. Gotcha. Okay, we met through the app. I want your Instagram handle to see that you're a real human. Shit. See? We have mutual friends. Where are you from? That's what you need to do. That's that's a tactic that Mikey should employ. Get off the app as fast as possible. That's actually like can we switch to DM makes me know that you like me. Oh man, it's like a step. You know, it's like yeah. Okay, okay. You know, let me write that. Also, I never check the apps, so poor guys were writing, and a week would go by, and I'd be like, I wasn't ignoring you. I just don't look at this because I hate this, so I'm not on it. So then I say switch to the DM because I check my DMs because my friends are there. Okay, True. okay, okay. I got you. Switch you. to the DMs. You might have DMs. mutual friends. Then you get in there because you're like, hey. Oh, you know uh, there you, we go. Dave, you know, different guy. We had a mutual friend. Got it. Dave, you were the mutual friend, Dave, of a different oh, guy. Oh, I was? And we go, we, we said, you both know Dave? And Dave. we freaked out. Okay, so late, later you tell me after this who it was. And we don't have to tell yeah, them. And, and, and trust, he felt intimidated. And you better be nice to my, my homegirl. That's all I'm saying if I know you. <laughs> Don't play no games. Don't play no games. Um, but if we, but Mikey, if we yeah. had never switched to the DMs, bro, I never would have known that we had like five. Yeah, you didn't friends. answer my, my hinge. <laughs> huh? You didn't answer my hinge. No, I'm just joking. I'm kidding. <laughs> you, left him in the, you left him on hinge. You left me on you hinge. You left him in the app, Michelle. Damn I've it. never seen you on any It's crazy. It's crazy. <laughs> it's crazy. It's crazy. Yo, isn't that awkward when you see people you know, though? I've had I that always happen. fucking, I do it like I swipe. You hit them up? Yeah, yeah. Because I like that yeah. awkwardness. <laughs> me wanna... too. I'm always like, you know yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. This could work. <laughs> Reminder. No, but, but yeah, you guys switch the DM, bro. It goes down to the DM. Switch and to then, the DM. I like that. Go, I'll, I'm going to do well, that. I wasn't scared to answer your question. I wasn't scared because I knew he was a real human being. This is a different guy. This is not the one with mutual friends. Different gotcha. person. Gotcha. Mm. So I was like, you are a real human. We've been speaking for a week. Yes. We went to a public place. You don't just go to nobody's place like that. Definitely. One, it's yeah. COVID yeah. time. And two, like that's dangerous. Yeah, so it's not, a public yeah. place. And and now everything in New York closes at 11. So if you're not home by 11, then you probably got Whoa. in trouble. This is how it always should be. Any Anytime I'm in New York past 2 o'clock in the morning, I'm either getting into a fight, I'm throwing up, it. or I'm, I'm not getting – I don't know where I'm going. It's the best time. <laughs> it's the worst time. No. It's the worst time. No, after, but after, late night I love it. pierogies at Veselka. Like, Dude. Oh, oh, I just walked past my language. Veselka. I fucking love this. Okay, oh, okay. This is my second. Th- See, this is making me think of this. This was the second thing. I miss New York. Bars and okay. Michelle. This is the thing that connects us. <laughs> Michelle. <laughs> so we. I went to a bar after a show. I was doing the city. Michelle was there with the home girl. Tell I'm telling oh, the story shit. real quick, if that's okay. I love it. There was so we were in some kind of Croatian bar or some 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 Balkan countries bar. Okay? Uh-huh. And it was it was packed from what I remember. Yeah. Coming off of you know a tough show. Mm. Uh and I want to get so drunk, like so fast, <laughs> you know? And that was my MO the whole time. Like I was living in the city oh, at that I time. didn't know that. Oh, I didn't Michelle. know that. that was, yeah. yeah, it was it was it was unhealthy, I think. I was just like you know, after a thing, everyone wants to go out too after a show, and it was yeah. it became like you a routine. Want to off steam. Yeah, you want to yeah, off yeah. Steam. Sense. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so M- Michelle was with us that night, and she came to the show that that night, and we went to the bar together with a few other people, and uh, in this, I'm gonna call it Croatian bar. Um, there was a dude in there who was spilling drinks on me and our friend. Right. It happened once. It happened once. And you're like, okay. Not, and, and, and I did, right? It was on me and I said, okay. And you were sitting there with me. I was there, yeah. Okay. So we're sitting across each other. We're talking. Uh-huh. Drink. All, I'm sitting down. Drink is hitting my shoulder, my neck, and my, and, and my side. And I'm like, you know what? I'm pissed. But, 
It's it's an accident, right? Accidents happen. The guy's a little too drunk. Yeah. He's bumping into me. It's fine. I still want to let some steam out. I'm still like a fucking spring. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? I'm just trying water's to water's like, boiling. The water's boiling. And you better better turn the steam. Down. That, that's <laughs> I just I don't want to blow up. So I'm relaxing. I'm talking to Michelle. Uh and then our friend runs over, from what I remember, and he says, This fucking guy just spilled his drink on my on my jacket. Mm-hmm. And, and 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 my sister is yelling at his friend, and I I like immediately got up and I felt myself like going there like that. You know what you talk yeah. about when I, you've oh, seen yeah, it. Yeah. I just I started seeing the seeing the red mm-hmm. and just and it was like the the vision. I couldn't see Michelle much anymore. It was like a circle like this. <laughs> you know I was looking at him, and I heard Michelle like it's fine, and I was like I couldn't even see your face anymore. I was just like where's the guy. <laughs> And I just beelined it for this guy, and I felt my fist balling up on my side. Our friend's sister is screaming at this guy. This I other remember guy. I walked over to that. I walked over to the screaming, Michelle, I think. So this is what you did. I don't know if you remember this. In my mind, this is what happened. What? So my fist is balled. I see the guy over my friend, and my friend is starting to get close to this little pack because his sister's getting oh, screamed at all that. And I see the drunk guy spilling his fuck, and he's his friend. Uh-huh. They're like a little group of drunk Croatians. Yeah. And uh, I, I, was, I was looking and all I could think of was I'm going to throw my right hand over my best <laughs> oh my friend's at, you know, shoulder and hit this guy on the side of the head as hard as I can. Oh, oh my God. That was like the first thing. I said, it's going to take a second and a half for this guy to turn or say a thing or laugh or whatever. And that's going to happen. And uh, all thought was off after that. And my fist was bald and I felt this happen. I said, and, and it was like... Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it was. It was. I think you did that, and Allie did that. Yeah, Allie helped. Yes, one hundred percent. And then I was out of the bar. You were, you, you you said, "Let's he go outside. Out. Let's go outside." And then and, and then the night was fine. We got out of the Croatian bar. Oh no! Yeah, I remember that now because I think we said there are so many bars. Why do we have to be? That's here? what you said. One hundred percent. That's what you said. You disarmed the okay. whole city. It was like a grenade in in our hands, and like you're just like, I'll just take that and put the pin back in. And let's go to a karaoke bar down the street, you know, and, and a coyote right. ugly bar. And then you're dancing on the bar. We're, we're singing, you know, everyone's having a good time. Mm. And it was you like, want to know something so funny? Oh. After that, I was so self conscious. I was like, mm. Dave probably thinks I'm just this weird fucking person no, who dances because no, I didn't no. know all of you that 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 well. And right. I was like, we are getting in a bar fight. Yeah. <laughs> you, no, you, no, but I, I do remember being like, we could go anywhere else. 100%. I'm so glad I didn't punch anybody because he doesn't deserve to be punched. Yeah. Deserve no, no one deserves to be punched. There should be no, no, no punching. No, there no, should be no I don't punching. mean it like that. I mean, he deserved to be punched. <laughs> I mean, you don't even need to give him the satisfaction of punching right, him because right. he's not like, right. that's what I, yeah, I mean. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's like, yeah, but you saved us from like probably bleeding and like going to jail at the end of the night. So I, 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 I always when I think of you, I think of how you disarmed the whole situation and like oh, I love that. a hand to a wrist and like mm. just just a dragon, you know, kindly sweet words in my ear out the bar. And we just talked. We didn't go anywhere. And then everyone came out with us. And then you we were just needed out. Oh, I was so. I remember, you want to know something? I remember the after Oof. more than the actual of me doing anything. I remember you heated down the street. Yeah, like, yeah. Like yeah. and you wanted to go back, and I was like, "We fucking left. We're yeah, not going yeah, back." Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yes, he did. Yeah, and Alicia was there too because Alicia yeah. gets heated too. Yeah, she's a little. I believe so that. I there. believe that. Like, let's just leave. Yeah. Like, let's just go. Yeah. 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 Yeah, no, was, I remember yeah. I've never seeing you like that, man. Yeah, because like, yeah. it's the embarrassing thing, I think, in, in, in who I Mikey's seen it a few times. It's it's embarrassing. It's, it's just very, a part, man. It's just a part of my life, though. I've come to yeah, accept it's it. Part of yourself. Yeah. You, were brought, no, you didn't antagonize that man. That no, to you. yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, it's not like you just hulked out for no reason. Yeah, yeah, yes. I didn't. I didn't. And and, it was and, very good, right? and and you were there at the right we're time. time. We're out of there. We're out of there, baby. Yeah, and, and I had a great night, and we had a great time after that, and it was great, and I was able to let it go. Yeah, it just takes me a while to like to like open the vi- field of vision again from like this to like, okay, breathe. It's okay. No more red. The guy's you know not in my consciousness anymore, and and mm. no one's harmed, and every everything's okay. Yeah, yeah. takes a little while, like yeah. a cool down. Makes you know? sense. Yeah, took a couple blocks. 
Um, wow, that bar was something else. The visual of it. Wasn't it? Just, you knew it walking there, in, wasn't it? Yeah, that little ramp going. I, I don't know. I, I could see it. I could see all of it. I feel like Alicia said, I knew from the jump this was a bad idea. Like, I think just she from did. walking into the space. I think she did. I feel like she said that. From it the, it one was of a us bad did. We were like, from the jump. Yeah. It made no sense. Yeah. It made no sense. Mm. I didn't feel at home. I didn't feel comfortable. You know, I didn't feel. You I, go to that kind of a bar to have a fight. Yeah, it's not a good not a good spot. So we were almost in a bar fight, me and Michelle. How's that? That's crazy. I would have uh, had your back. Had you. <laughs> had you. <laughs> Because do you remember there were girls in that group defending that guy? Yes, I do now. I girls on, I would have had them, oh, but then yeah. we don't need to do that. We don't need to do we that. We don't need to we do that. Just, we don't need that in our life. Things never happen whenever I'm around anymore. What? Like conflict, things like this. Like it never happens when I'm there. Yeah. You're a calming force, Mike. Yeah, you're. Maybe a, you are. I'm just the alpha. You're the alpha in the room. Yeah. <laughs> I'll take care of it. Take care of it. And everyone knows it. They don't want to start. I'll take shit. You, I'll take you out. Me, I'm just a big goofy guy. And they're like, oh, that's, I could spill my no. drink on this guy. Maybe I did it I more like a mob mentality where I was like, you never fight your own people. We get somebody else. Uh-huh. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right. I well, thank you again. I I I I appreciate you. I love you for that for saving saving me from oh, a lot of trouble. That, it was it was just a memory, man. Yeah, it it's just, just now a it's a fun memory. story to talk about. Mm. Um, so I remember being on the bar having such a good time, and then on the cab. Was it a Coyote home. Ugly Bar too? Wasn't it? Wasn't it a Coyote Ugly Bar? Yeah, yeah. it was. Yeah, yeah. She was on the oh, bar. Gone. Just fucking doing really? dancing, you know all that. Yeah. Oh yeah. That's sick. Yes. And there's bras hanging in underwear and stuff from the ceiling. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We had our own little corner. We were dancing. Is that, yeah, Saint, is that near St. Mark's? Is that around there? Yes. Yes. Yeah, right? Yes. I feel like I've been there, dude. It was right it's by St. Right Mark's. Right the the it was right by yeah. the theater. Oh, re- oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. I don't, is that where we went after? After Lourdes? Maybe. 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 I don't remember. Yep. It's just a big I blur. Missed, I miss that about New York, man. It's just going at night. Yeah. Exactly. I mean, I don't know. Like, you don't have you know what though? Those, those, I don't yeah, know. Man. I just, I, I don't. I, it was, dude. I had the most fun. Mm. I had the most. That's what fun. I'm saying. But, but the thing is this: every night, <laughs> drunk to the point of almost puking, like finding a way back to my hotel room and like just laying there staring at the ceiling, like, <laughs> fuck, man, this is terrible. Dude, 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 here's the thing: you didn't grow up doing that in the city, right? Definitely yeah. not. No, no. So, so you get a couple years practice, and then you don't <laughs> yeah. do that anymore. Yeah. I'm not even saying that to be cheeky. Like you get a rhythm. Like you didn't have to worry about commuting all the way home to Jersey, so you could be reckless because your hotel was down. One hundred percent. Like yes. you know, you're you're with your friends, so you felt like yeah. If you like knew you had to cap it at three drinks and get on the. New York, uh, the Jersey transit yeah. by midnight, like then that changes. You were having a fucking night. yeah, yeah. It was like uh, all uh, all thought goes out the window. It was just I get I got the green light to just just have have a city night, and then it turned yeah. into City Dave, which was like a nickname <laughs> for me that for like a month. And uh, yeah, nobody likes City Dave. City Dave was a bad dude. I like yeah. City Dave. Well, I thought that, it was hey, fine. I bet I'd like City Dave. Yeah. City Dave's fun until like four. Davey. Unconditional love, man. We like City Dave. Hey, like- I love everybody. Unconditional love. Davey Danger out here. Davey Danger. Michelle, I got questions for you. Okay. And also, I don't know if you have you have. I know you have plans. We have a cutoff coming up. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna do them quick. We, we could do we could do them quick. But these are important I'm questions. Seven. Okay. 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 Um. Okay. When did you figure out who you are, Michelle? Oh, God. Do we ever? Aren't we always figuring it out, man? <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Are we? No, no. I think I figured it out, Um, I think, in class. Okay. I think I was living in a way that was untruthful to who I am. And then class makes you, like, address all the things of what, like, knowing what you like, what you don't like, what bothers you, mm-hmm. what makes you to throw something at somebody at a bar at four and you know what I mean like yeah yeah I don't do those things before class so I think class also I didn't have a college experience mm. so that was very much like my college experience mm, okay so those are my formative years for yeah, me yeah. so I think class and like afterwards and stuff yeah. but but also I think through acting like through through like doing like theater when I was a kid because like 
you know that you're not like every, I don't know, that sounds silly. Not like you're that you're so different that you're not like anybody else. But like you kind of, I guess it would be like when you play sports, like you know who you are on the team. You can't be the whole team. You, know you can only be you yeah. your part. You know what I mean? Yeah. So like you kind of need to know what you can trip, what you have to contribute to. Mm. Does that make sense? Yeah, it mm. does. It does. Uh, um, so I think class, but also it helps to be in plays and be in shows because you yeah. have to know like what you have to give. If I'm in, you could get lost if you don't know who you are. If you're in like a cast of like 20, 30 people, yeah. you know, you, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, uh, I got another, another, this is, this is a tough question. To ask. This is a little deep question, but I just, I'm just curious about where you're at in life um, because I'm going through change with, with religion and like, the idea wow. of God and yeah, like I, I'm pretty, I was a pretty faithless dude and very, very fearful, fearful, scared guy in my twenties, like just across the board. Right. And, um, like I'm starting to get into religion, you know, just to tap into mm-hmm. something that's other than just me. Like it's all about me. Um, right. you know, uh, cause I, walking around by myself, like my, my major thing, is, I said it a million times on this podcast, but the major thing, and you know, is, uh, like oh I'm like I'm, there's some innate part of me inside of me that thinks I'm not good enough or I'm garbage. Like I I think like I associate myself with like not not pleasant things. Like I'm not uh, I I just don't register myself as like uh, worth it in a lot of ways. So religion has helped me like slowly, very yeah. and I'm baby stepping with it. But it's it's just giving me something that says like oh you're loved constantly. You were created yeah. and you're loved constantly and you're enough without having to prove anything to anyone, do anything special, significant right. by breathing. You're significant, you know, you're beautiful. Uh, yeah. and it's, it's kind of helping me, you know, to, to be honest. Um, I don't vibe with everything and like I'm trying to figure right. out ways of making it work for me. Um, so do you believe in, uh, uh, some kind of religion or, or some kind of God or, or, or yeah. Or do you believe in uh, possibly fate, like destiny, or are things kind of plotted out for you? Um, is there spirituality in your life, or is it is it is it all you? And is it do we you know is it only what we see in front of us, and that's the life, and we live it, and then we die, and then that's it? Yeah. I'm gonna say it, and then I want to hear Mikey. Okay. Hear Mikey. Oh. Okay. okay. <laughs> um, uh, what? Where you're at, or where I was. I was there like maybe two years ago Mm. and I, so I was a, I called myself an atheist like all through high school and through my early twenties. I was very adamant. There is nothing, nothing happens to you when you die. There is no God. It's all just like happenstance, coincidence, you know, things like that. But I think that was coming from a very hurt place. Uh Uh-huh very faithless place and a very sad place i'm not saying that anyone who doesn't believe in anything is a sad faithless person that's not <laughs> what I'm saying. But for me where i was coming from at that time i was not happy and, yeah. I, and again like it, it also coincides with what i said earlier where like i don't know if i was navigating from like a truthful place before class mm-hmm. and through class too is how i got back to being in faith mm-hmm. it was people i met through class that were religious and then I ended up being with them every Sunday after they went to church and different oh, wow. things. And, wow. and dude, let me tell you, I've, I've never said this. I'm just, oh shit. Oh okay. shit. It's, it's an exclusive. <laughs> you are your podcast exclusive. I was, at, I was at a dinner party with a bunch of people who were religious and I still was not. Uh-huh. I was uh-huh. not. And I remember crying and freaking out. And being like, you're all trying to convert me and oh. you would all like me a lot better if I believed in God. And like, I just felt so anxious and yeah. so like judged and so like not a part of the group. Yeah. And like, yeah. I was coming from a really bad like headspace and they were all just like, we never tried to convert you. We're not trying to make you anything that you're not. Like, we love you as you are. Like, mm. and you know, even what you're saying, like, if you believe in God, you know, if you do, a God loves you as you are. And, you know, I'm, I'm butchering it, but like, I was I freaked know. out. I was not okay yeah, with accepting Yeah, I understand this totally. And I just felt like I was getting, it almost felt like from an atheist brain where I was like, 
oh, this is culty. They're just trying to like make me think this yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Love is manipulative, <laughs> and you being nice to me must have a motive because I don't trust you. Yes, and, of course. Like, you know, I was not trustworthy. I was like, no, this is bullshit. Like you know, yeah. um, and then and then I started like a faith journey of my own, but like by myself. Like yeah. I'm not really someone who like. It's weird. I love like group activities and like plays. Uh, I don't want to go to church with anybody. Yeah, like, that's oh, fair, dude. Yeah. I'm going, you know, but now I go and and then I started my own, you know, journey with that. But I I consider myself a Christian now. Wow. But I grew oh. up Catholic and I hated like every facet. Hey, ditto, of it. ditto, oh. ditto. Yeah, yeah. Did you really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was so shame based and awful, and yeah. I like don't agree with a lot of it. Yeah. But there's also a lot of Christian things I don't agree with either. You know, like uh, but not in terms of what the ideology is, but the way that it is practiced. Yeah. And yeah. any church, I think, has a lot of bad things about it. Like mm-hmm. any organized religion has some dark things. And religion, I think, is a shame thing for a lot of people. So you even, like, not speak for you, but you saying, like, you felt like you weren't good enough, you were garbage in this. I think that the only way Catholic religion profits is through making people feel that way and real estate. Those are the only two things, (laughs) making you feel like like you need to feel bad about yourself and be cleansed by what they're selling you. Right, right, right. So I don't know, but like, I'm glad that you found something that makes you feel better. I hope that everybody finds that at some point in their own way. But I think that fate and like the, the, when the universe like lines up in a way, that's, that's either with God or its own thing. We got free will because we get to choose our paths. So I think that's that's like a cool Rubik's cube that always changes. I don't think it's like, he, the guy upstairs knows your fate and chose that you were going to get a chai latte instead of an Americano and oh. walk out at five minutes before you met your soulmate. Like, I don't know if I jive with that, but like you get to choose what you do with your life. Man. So it will manifest that way. Yeah. So I think it could be both. I don't know. Yeah. But that's where I'm at. An, a Catholic and then an atheist. And then now I believe in something. Yeah. 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 That's, yeah. I mean, thanks, thanks for sharing. I think that's. Uh, I don't mind talking about it. Thanks for asking. Yeah, that's dude. I'm glad you 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 know you're in a spot right now where you've uh, you found something that it works for you, makes you you know, I don't know more more complete and like you're are you you're on a journey too. Like the mm-hmm. thing is too, like I don't know if I'll change in a year. If I'll if six months right. later, uh, two months later, a week later, I'll be like, man, this God thing is garbage, and I'm done. You know. Mm-hmm. Right. But uh. <laughs> man like it's a journey everybody's on that journey yeah you yeah know? yeah I, it just it just helps me right now i think i think that the communication of just like saying a thing out loud and, and and having faith that it's heard and and seeing little things just small small things happen that that help me day to day i think that's uh you know i don't i don't i don't care what anyone thinks i, I just i just enjoy it so um that's where i'm at yeah but mikey how, how about you bro I you think, feel? I mean, I I kind of feel the same. I I think just everyone has the right. Like, religion's there, and all practices are there to be used. Uh-huh. You know, to to, you know, for yourself to mm-hmm. help yourself to if you're going through something. And I have no problem with like any religion or what people are doing. Um, if a group does something that's you know wrong, obviously I'm not gonna you know side with that thing. But I don't. I feel like everything out there is like valid and. If yeah. it works for you, then yeah. do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. I don't care. Um, I think with certain things in my life, I never really think about um, like a God of something like, um, yeah, like choosing like the ways or whatever I'm yeah. doing is like, or like if I pray for something, you know, I don't see like things come back or yeah. like I was raised Catholic too. And like I was going to church for a little bit, but then like we kind of fell out of it and I don't know. I guess the faith wasn't always like strong like that. Mm. There are certain yeah. times that I do like I, you know, when something really good happens or, um, you know, some like out of the world like coincidence happens. I feel like there's something else mm-hmm. that like is doing something. Um, I just don't know what it is. Yeah. And I don't think you need to put a label on whatever that thing is either. Like I think that's okay too. You know. So I think it's okay to just say, hey, there might be something. You know, maybe like magnetics forces something, uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, like making this happen. But uh, I don't know. Like, w- like with now, with me like starting to work out, it's not like anything told me to do it. I was just like, you know what, I'm gonna do it, and now I feel a lot better. Gotcha. I guess I think for certain things in life, 
um, you know, maybe certain religious practices or uh, teachings can, you know, fix certain, you know, situations yeah. and help. Yeah. I know what you need. What you need. Yeah. You want. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think the, the only thing with religion is like, there's so many like, just like bad, um, like front runners that, like a lot of like the pastors, like you know, like the memes you see, yeah. like oh, yeah. all this like, <laughs> yeah, I about don't that know, one pastor. Yeah, yeah, we watched. It's like Starbucks. I don't know, man. Oh God, like what Starbucks? There was a he showed me a video. Yeah, it was, last it was week bad. or two weeks ago, He's saying that that Starbucks puts semen in their coffee. And this is a pastor of a church that has you know a pretty big uh, congregation. Following. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> And, you know, Even if they did, which they don't, why does he care? <laughs> you know, it, it's it's weird, man. It's and he's weird. like against, like you know, the gays. And... Yeah, yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. It's different for everyone, dude. I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. It's just noise, man. Like also, not not all religious talk is good. Ooh, like it, you gotta yeah. be able as yourself, regardless of religion, to because, block out the noise. Yeah. And stuff. You know, yeah. a lot of the time it turns into like politics. You know, like, with, and like, I'm like, why does that have to exist in that? Yeah. You know, but I don't know. I, I don't, I don't research a lot about it. So, you know, yeah. yeah. I'm sure maybe there are some valid Just points where you're at it. in your life right now. Yeah. That's, that's all. Yeah. 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 We're constantly. I struggled changing. a lot with like religion in the, in the pandemic too, because like. Oh, me too. Some religion, not religions, I'm sorry. Some churches that I thought I jived with or would look they didn't believe COVID was a thing or they were anti-mask or that they were still congregating with no coverings. And, and also like when, when the whole summer with Asian hate and black lives matter and everything going on, so many hip churches were silent. Mm. And like, one thing I will say that like, I'm so grateful is that the church that I do go to at time from time to time follow like stood up for Black Lives Matter, had a talk with like several black great pastors mm. and different people. They had talk packs, they marched, they like crowdfunded, like they did things so that I didn't feel like it was, um, what's the word? Like um, optics on their social media that they gave yeah, a shit right. about this thing, yeah. right, you know? Right. And like, look at the places that are like feeding families and look at the places that are like helping people, you know? And mm. I think those people are usually good, but the guy who's just like online talking about <laughs> Starbucks is like, is he helping anybody? Like, what does he do? Yeah. You know, I don't know who this person is, but you kind of got to go with your own instinct of like, who is helping people? Those yeah. people probably don't suck. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Yeah, man. What about, what about manifestation? You, you believe like, are there things that you think you've manifested in your life ever? Um, Would you be able to do say I think that? that? Yeah. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's, yeah. I think it's thinking that you're worthy of mm. the things that you want is way more important. So I think a a by like a byproduct of that is saying or manifesting that you deserve those things mm. i don't know if it's i mean i don't know if there's truth like you know truth in that you said it therefore it happened yeah we don't know we don't know yeah if you're negative like how we were saying about like you know if you go into a thing thinking that it will fail right then maybe you self-deprecated like maybe you self-sabotaged uh -huh project or yeah. the relationship or yeah. the marriage thing you know like yeah. so i don't know manifesting i think is also just like believing that you can do the thing that you want to do as well for sure it can't hurt i have to say it can't hurt like manifesting a good <laughs> thing i don't think it hurts yeah you know? yeah sure sure yeah i mean yeah in, the, in like the most glorified way like i see i hear the jim carrey story of like mm. you know i signed the blank check yep. and yep put five million dollars down and three years later i was getting a dumb and dumber check for five million dollars and you know he's on oprah yeah. and he's telling the story like that's that's a beautiful way of looking at manifestation mm -hmm. you know i guess you all excited and yeah there's motivational music in the bag and you're like oh this is great yes, but yeah like I, th I think there might be a science to it you know there might be something like i think that's what you're saying uh, there might be like little things if, if i if i'm going into a situation and i have a doubt mm -hmm. like a lingering yeah. doubt that i'm not communicating or just i'm burying or whatever Maybe subconsciously my body and what I say and how I move is uh, creating a future where like it's going to fall apart. Yeah. And, uh, and that's me doing that. That's my body 
subconsciously like doing little actions that build up and that do destroy yeah. a thing as opposed to like believing in yourself truly and being like a little bit more uh vulnerable or a little bit more uh excited passionate expressing like a little bit more in your actions those things and those those things build up and then the thing you you're like wow this five million dollar check came in. no 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 you 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 did small things along the way because you believed in yourself or you were in a great place sure you manifested it let's call it that like maybe that's what's going on yeah i don't know i've kind of had trouble that with that recently um just from like things happening recently with like my family and stuff yeah, yeah. like we've been trying to move and like are you manifesting a new place? Like we've been trying, and like I've this has been like a long journey, at, at least for them. Yeah. Like I kind of been seeing it through, like, like just the what things doing. that keep happening, man. Yeah, it's yeah. like it's so unfair, yeah. and it's always some new like bullshit that's just like, yeah. why is this happening? Yeah. It's like we do no wrong, we help all, all the people, we uplift whatever, but it's always like not and then my and like some like this last time something happened. And it was just like out of nowhere. We were like out with our family and it's just a call, you yeah, know, that's just yeah. like some, it's like why on Sunday on Easter or yeah. something, you yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. And it's like, okay, cool. So my, my dad was like, news. my dad was like, life is never easy. Oof. Our life is never easy. Oh, It'll never be easy. Yeah. You know, and to hear that tough. coming from him that's after tough. like 50 years, that's tough. I'm like, I don't ah. know, man. I th- I really do feel something good is coming on on the other side of that though because it's yeah. it's universe throwing a lot of negative at you because something good's coming. I mean, I guess we'll see, but no, it, it will. I think it will. <laughs> I mean, I'm not he, trying to be maybe he, he bought a Bitcoin. But... I guess maybe you know. So maybe it's the Bitcoin. Yeah. <laughs> I yeah, don't know. Yeah. Come on, man. I think it's it's, it's tough. It's it's easy, you know what it is though? It's 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 it's, it's like it's like thirty years of like hard working. Yes. Yes. And it's like. All right, and like he's and like you know that there's like plans for the future. Uh-huh. The, it's all set up, you know. Like this has been a plan for like long time. That's the thing over about 30 plans, years, dude. dude. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. it's like, why? Why is there things being thrown to? Yeah, you know, mess that you. up. I feel you. You know, gosh, I mean, plans. They're they're. It's so rare. Yeah. That a plan like comes through perfectly and yeah. how you imagined it for 30 years or whatever, you know, if they've had a 30 year plan, but. Wow. It's, and I feel for yeah. your dad, you think that you grind for 30 years and it yeah, will have that's what I'm saying, something. Man. You get a payoff. But yeah. Yeah. The world is such an inconsistent place. Yeah. Like, you know. That's why when I heard that, I was like, I don't know, man. Yeah. Yeah. I think you just get rich. Yeah. But so th- something, there, there's things I'm learning about surprise, dude. Yeah. I used to get scared about surprise. Really? Yeah, because it's not part of the plan. Surprise is the nature of a surprise is something you're not you're not expecting. You're not you're not considering. Yeah. You know? You don't like but surprises? I don't. Really? Because it's no. it's change that I can't plan for. Like I before I'd be like yeah. there's only negative surprise unless it's like a surprise party for your birthday you know what i mean it's going to be a surprise for the worst that was always my point of view yeah. something's going to surprise you throw you off your your path that you want to be on and it's going to divert you you're gonna have uh-huh. to come back to that but there's such a thing as healthy surprise like it could look shitty right now but maybe there's going to be a surprise like michelle's saying on the other side of this negative call on easter yeah and it's like you know we're in a shitty place and my family you know we're having trouble you know getting to that next part of the path but maybe the path just got enriched and like it diverted sure but maybe it's like headed for a better place like you don't know we're yeah. only human we can only see so far yeah yeah you know? yeah, yeah. Maybe if they got a house now, it wouldn't be the perfect house. Not yeah. that there's anything perfect. You know what I mean? Like maybe the thing that comes later is the better thing. Yeah, and, and I know it's pissing you off. I know it, yeah, it's not a good yeah. answer. I know it's bothering me, but th- that's that's the only thing that I can rationalize yeah. it with. It's like it's like the thing for me is like I feel like we've had enough of like the society. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, when yeah. it's over and over, you're like, but maybe you know it's gonna work. Yeah, it's like at some point you're like. No, you're just it's gonna get, it's gonna keep getting beat until it's you know you're you're out of here. Dead. Yeah. You're dead and yeah. out of here. Yeah. <laughs> that's sad, but that's been the You Are Here Podcast, episode <laughs> oh 170. Oh my god, that's how we're going out. Michelle wow. and Luella. No, no, no. Yeah, yeah. We're not going out this way, Mikey. <laughs> Michelle, no Michelle way. One, one, last last thing. Last thing, <laughs> Mikey. If you were okay, okay. If you were a tree, what tree would you <laughs> oh. No, 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 no. Definitely pine tree, evergreen. If you if you could leave something right now in this little time capsule of a podcast for yourself, 
Okay. Uh-huh. Let's say, let's say a like year that. from now. What would you like to say to yourself? Can can my can somebody else go first? <laughs> okay. No, you have to go first. Yeah, no, no, you're the you're the guest. You're the guest. <laughs> We got we got serious. We got strict all of a sudden. We have rules. Well, well, one, well. Let me say a, long, a, a little bit of a longer answer. I did watch back the one we did like a year and change oh, ago, cool. a while back, and I looked at that Michelle and I was like, "Wow, you were so sad, and you had so uh, many things going on, and like you want you were trying so hard to look like you had all the you know, and mm-hmm. like uh, I, w- I I'm gonna say to myself now a year from now that i'm proud of you there we go okay so like i think i hope that like right now when you're trying to make a thing happen yeah you don't feel like you can be proud of yourself oh but it's not over yet the reward isn't here yeah. i didn't do the thing yet so what do i have to be proud of is how i feel like when people are like oh good on you that you're starting this thing i'm like it doesn't mean anything because <laughs> it hasn't happened yet and what if it doesn't like don't jinx it like you know it's all gonna go to shit and it's gonna be terrible you yeah, know yeah. but like even just trying trying is like really great and like be proud of yourself maybe that's what i would say be, that's be beautiful proud. yes yes there's so much there's so much just just uh greatness in in the trying you know mm. yeah. there's so much to be celebrated in the trying oh yeah so that's an awesome one Jeremy, to say. uh Mike. What a, okay um Life's never easy. <laughs> <laughs> no. Um, oh. I would say for a year. One year. In a year. Next mm, April. I hope you found yourself. Oh, mm. God. I hope you found yourself. Yeah. I hope you found. Oh, man. Okay. Wow. That's loaded. Yeah. I'm in the limbo, man. I'm in the limbo. The limo or the limbo? The limbo. The limbo. Like you're in the limo? You're in the I'm in the limo of limbo. Okay. I like that. I'm just floating around. You're going to come out the other side, man. You're going to. I know. I will. I definitely I will. You found yourself. Okay. Um, I think, I don't know. What did I say? One year from now, if you're listening, Dave, you got to know, man. You got to know that life 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 is is going to keep changing, buddy. And I know you're comfortable right now. Just 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 taking the day. Taking today. Just breathe it in. Look around, open your eyes. Connect to someone if you can. You're beautiful. You you're on this day you're very happy that one you're listening to right now. So just try to try to try to take in what's around you today. And that that's it, buddy. Don't don't think ahead. Don't think too far ahead. Just take in today. That's it. Mm. Yeah. There we go, man. Yeah. And that's the You're Here podcast. And that's the You're Here podcast. Yeah. Episode 117, Michelle Emanuela. Find all the links down below. Indiegogo. It's Indiegogo for sure? Yes. Boom. Got- it's going to be in the description. And go watch Doom Swiping. Go watch Doom Swiping. Anything? Watch Doom Swiping. Oh. Follow Next Exit Film on Instagram. Boom. Follow me on Instagram. And have a wonderful day. Yeah. Oh, man. Hey, hey, check your DMs. <laughs> Go ahead, Mikey. Take us out of here. <laughs> the podcast episode, 117 of the You Are Here podcast. Find the podcast on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, YouTube, with video, anchor.fm, www.youarepodcast.com. We cannot afford you. Yeah. My name is Mike, and I'm signing out. My name is Dave, and I love y'all. Be kind to of one another, please. Woo! We out.